The anterior fontanelle is at the three o'clock position and the posterior fontanelle at nine o'clock. This is a right occipitotransverse position or ROT. The Keelan's forceps have a sliding lock. They also have the occiput dots at the junction of the shank and handle. These should be fixed in relation to the foetal occiput, which in this case, as the foetus is ROT, is on the model's right. The operator brings the forceps to the perineum and lines up the occiput dots to the occiput, in this case on the model's right. The anterior forcep is introduced along the pelvic side wall in the manner of non-rotational forceps. The blade is then guided over the foetal face until it comes to lie in position under the pubic symphysis. The assistant holds the anterior forcep in place. The posterior forcep can be introduced along the pelvic side wall and then positioned into the posterior vagina, guided with the operator's thumb. After both blades have been applied, check that their position relative to the suture lines is correct. Check that the blades lock easily. Asynclitism is corrected by the operator pulling the finger guard nearest the perineum towards themselves while simultaneously pushing on the opposite finger guard. This is done until the handles are aligned. This is only performed in between contractions when the uterus is relaxed. In order to create space to rotate the foetus, the head is disimpacted. This is done by bringing the handles of the forceps downwards towards the operating table. Next, the operator pushes upwards gently to displace the head. The foetal head should now be one centimeter higher than its initial station. Rotation is then performed, again between contractions, using no more than fingertip pressure. The procedure should be abandoned if any difficulty is encountered. Check foetal position again after rotation. The foetal head is now OA. The assistant will palpate for contraction. When a contraction is present, apply traction in direction to follow the pelvic curve as with non-rotational forceps. Support the perineum and perform an episiotomy when the foetal head is crowning. Upon delivery of the foetal head, remove the Keelan's forceps. Finish by delivering the baby.